DeadAirRoomCashPro.com Because something makes me more excited. On today's video, we're going over the June monthly bonus round. Celebrate Pied Gears 5 and Special Olympics Microsoft Rewards Punch Cards. To 4,550 points up for grabs. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. I do apologize for the absence. It's been a bit of a had a couple of weeks for the uh, Cash Boner family, but here here we are. Hope to have some more videos up for you guys in a more consistent fashion. But I must ask a little favor anyway. So if you like videos like this where I go over ways where you can make extra cash on the side to get free things such as Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, as well as gift cards for things or vendors like Amazon, Target, and the like as well as just free cash all around using different applications. Please make sure you like the video as it does get in front of more people who can take advantage of the content. So with that being said, let's get to it. New month means you punch cards, but this month Microsoft went a bit further out, although that May Gamerscore punch card was pretty damn good. I think I ended up with 450 out of 10,000, not the best, but the fact that I got an extra 450 rewards points is fantabulous. I hope some of you guys reached 10,000, or anybody really, but I hope you had really good traction on that one. But anyways, let's get to it. This month there are several punch cards, and the main thing on it really is activation, activation, activation. So let's get to it, and there's some duplicate effort being done. First off, the, celeb uh, the Pride Month Xbox punch card. Same as the other punch cards in the previous months where Microsoft is showing uh, or putting focus on a specific cause. In this case, it is Pride Month. So what you need to do is, again, and also this is access this one more time. You access this through the Microsoft Rewards app on your Xbox One or Xbox Series S or X console. So let's get to it again. The Pride Month punch card. Again, you have to activate the punch card. So you click here. So you select that box, hit A, and then it'll just reload the program or the app. And it'll be activated. You have to make sure you activate the punch card. Once the punch card is activated, the next two achievements will give you 500 rewards points apiece for this punch card. You do not have to complete the other steps. You, the donation, while it is generous and it will be matched by Microsoft point for point, is completely optional. Again, never any judgments. Next up, the Special Olympics punch card. Same thing as the Pride Month punch card. You have to activate the punch card and once you do, the next two achievements will give you 500 points. Again, the next step, steps where you can donate the points to Special Olympics is optional once you get once you activate and get two achievements that's another thousand points now third this time the gears 5 punch card this one's a bit more uh complex so you activate the punch card and you have to get one achievement in gears 5 now for those of you who haven't played in a while i was one of them uh what i did is i loaded up the hive busters dlc which is included for free under xbox game pass ultimate and I played a little bit. If you get through the first level, you'll get one achievement. Or actually, if you activate any of your teammates' ultimate abilities, you get an achievement. So I think it took about five to ten minutes, just about. But this one is different. So you have to activate the punch card, get the achievement, and then it says right here to donate points to help support the foundation of your choice. You do not technically have to donate them. I'll just say you <laughs> you do not. Once you click uh, the third task here and click the A button you can click back it'll mark it as completed now the fourth one which for some reason is having issues getting that to load up on the console when I need to take the picture the fourth punch card will just let you uh, redeem a themed pixelated hearts banner that you can use in Gears 5 multiplayer and once you complete all four you'll get the 500 points so if you activate this one and this one and this one and just get one achievement in Gears 5, you will get complete the credit for this, and also one here, and one here. And if you just get the two in Gears 5, then you'll get obviously the one here, but then you have to complete the next two steps. But as far as, as a Special Olympics punch card and the Pride Month punch card, you will be done. You will already have your 1,000 points for each of those. So if you activate all three and get two achievements in Gears 5, and then complete the other steps here for this Gear 5 punch card, you will get a total of 2,500 rewards points. Freaking bomb. Now, you do have to do this before the end of the month to keep that in mind, so you still have quite a while to do it. Now, on top of that, the June monthly bonus round punch card, which does not need to be activated, but does need to be completed uh, by... June 15th, and one of the tasks is a weekly set on your console, meaning that you have to start this ASAP. Actually, as long as you start it by today, you technically have uh, 10 days to complete it. Hear me out on it. So the first one 
is search Bing on any device five days. So technically you can actually do this on the console itself if you want, but it also works. The easiest way to do it is to do it on your PC or mobile device. Get your daily 300 or so points. I know you need to do this one search, but get all your points and then it'll count as long as you do even one search. So then do that five different days. They don't have to be concurrent, just five different days. Now complete task one. Once you're completing, once that task is completed, you have to come back here, hit the A button to get a little check mark. Next task, complete three day, daily sets. I've been over this. It's on the uh, PC, or you can also do it on, the, on your mobile device as well. Every day, there's three daily Every day, sorry, there's a daily set which includes three tasks, and it can be done in under a minute. You just have to do that three times. Task number three, same as before. Earn three achievements in any Xbox One or Xbox Series S or X game. And again, this punch card does not need to be activated. So in theory, if you do the three achievements here while the other punch cards are activated, and as long as, as, as long as at least one achievement is in Gears 5, you will get all of this done. So that's 2,500. 2, and actually, let's not forget the Achieve More, Earn More punch card. And they're 50 as long as you activate it. And depending on how many days you do this, because remember you can activate this once per day as soon as you earn an achievement, is how many extra points you can get. So that's task 3. And task 4 is complete a weekly set. And this that is the weekly set shown here on your Xbox console. So keep that in mind. That's why I said you have to start. If you start today, you'll have two chances to do your weekly set. So make sure you get that done. It's very important. Task number five is completing the quiz. So again, this is usually asked questions related to Xbox published games or Xbox Game Pass games. For an extra 50 points. So in theory, you can get 2,050 from the June monthly bonus round punch card and another 2,500 from the other three punch cards, adding up to a total of 4,550 plus the 54. I'll keep grinding this to the ground. You achieve more, earn more punch card. So that means that you get at least 4,600 points, guys. A lot of points for points that we made this month. But sorry, don't forget that once you complete this task, you have to go down here, claim your prizes, hit the little prize or the prize bag, and then that'll give you your 2,000 points. So that's why this can be a bit confusing. For this one, you will not get your points until you do all five tasks and then claim your prizes. For the Gears 5 Pump card, once you complete all four tasks, sorry, the first three tasks, and then you do the bottom one, which will give you your pixelated banner, which will actually be a code that will be emailed to you. Then you'll get your 500 points. For the first two, the Special Olympics and the Pride Month punch cards, all you have to do, once they are activated, is get the two achievements, and then that is it. You will get your 1,000 points for both of these. And yes, they do stack, meaning that, like I said in theory, if you activate all three, get three achievements, and at least, and at least one of them is from Gears 5. But let's say neither one of them is. You'll at least get these two for 2,000, and then you'll have this completed to get your 2,000 here. But that is it, guys. Uh, quick little update. I was fortunate enough to get an Xbox Series X console. Early Father's Day gift. Thank you to my amazing wife. Uh, early impressions are, oh my god, things load up so freaking quick. And quick resume, it is a game changer when the only time that you usually play on your console is when your little baby is sleeping on you. It is nuts how quickly things load, and it makes me wonder how I live without it and most apps do load quicker but that's it so far i've only spent a little bit of time on it not too much i really want to test out quick resume more than anything uh but that is it for that uh, what else uh, my mode phone i know i haven't talked about it much uh, it is a current staple in my monthly hundred dollar theme like, i'm sorry i haven't loaded those up hopefully i can get that up soon uh but i got <laughs> i got i don't know if that's not technically called shadow ban because they Send me an email saying they banned my account for suspicious activity and I was going to email them asking them why so then I can tell you guys why because they didn't really do anything wrong. And then they reinstated my account saying that they thought I was cheating because I was getting above average earnings. So joke's on them. Ha ha. Because I wasn't cheating. I just made more than most people, I guess. And I will hopefully have a misplay video up as well that will go over some more tips and tricks, especially considering that now you can get different status levels, which can give you a multiplier on units earned. But that is it, guys. I hope you're all doing good. Catch one ring going nowhere. We will be here and we'll be teaching you or giving you advice on ways you can make extra cash by playing games and doing other things because you should never pay retail and why pay for things like Xbox Game Pass Ultimate when you can get them for free. Speaking of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate right now, if you load up the app on a PC, on the Xbox Game Pass app, you can actually get your first three months for 
Always remember the benefit is for the new subscribers. <laughs> but if your subscription is about to lapse, it's not a bad uh, time to let it lapse and then get three months for a dollar. But and then that's an easy springboard into using my guide to getting it for free in perpetuity. But again, if you are a new member, I haven't seen it on the console yet. But if you're a new member, you have, do not have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate currently, you can load up the Xbox Game Pass app on the PC and get your first three months for one dollar but that, that is at least in the united states but that's it again guys i don't want to ramble too much thank you very much for your support i do very much appreciate it and again if you like what you're seeing please make sure you give a little visit to the like share and subscribe button down below if you have any questions tips comments post in the comment section right go to play some games make some money spend some money save some money don't get boned get boning